This is the download from Sounds Profitable, your daily source for the essential news of the business of podcasting, brought to you by Spreaker from iHeart. I'm Gavin Gaddis. Just a brief reminder that tomorrow, the Sounds Profitable offices will be closed for Juneteenth, meaning no download tomorrow. We'll be taking the day off, and we'll see you on Thursday. With that said, here's what you need to know for today, Tuesday, June 18th. First up, Amazon unveils ads relevance, claiming it no longer is reliant on single IDs. The new offering, announced during the Cannes Lion Festival of Creativity, uses signals like browsing, shopping, and viewing behavior across Amazon properties, to predict user behavior and offer media buyers ad opportunities using that data. Ad relevance is designed to provide targeting for online audiences in a post-third-party data world. A synergetic fit with Amazon's podcasting arm of Art19 and Wondery, as this kind of targeting strategy is one podcasting has found success with for years. Next up, PodLP turns 4 launches on CloudPhone. The podcast distribution platform designed to work on low-power devices like T9 flip phones is celebrating its fourth birthday by adding functionality for CloudPhone, a remote browser designed to run app-like widgets on phones with as little as 16 megabytes of RAM and a screen as small as 128 by 160 pixels. Services like PodLP enables the podcasting industry to be more accessible to people outside the bubble of high-end smartphone users. For more on advertising and smartphone bias, see Brian Barletta's 2020 article written around PodLP's initial launch. Next up, here comes a tongue twister. How Immediate Media is Growing Its Paid Podcast Audience At the recent Media Voices Publisher Podcast Summit in London, Immediate Media's head of podcast Ben Hewitt says paid podcast subscriptions currently make up 10% of the company's overall podcast revenue, and the conversion rate of free listeners to paid subscribers is around 4-5%. to Hewitt warns of punishing listeners while trying to build out premium offerings. Reducing a daily podcast cadence by one and making the Friday episode paywalled throws off the routine of that core audience. Added value has more success than carving up existing working properties. Next up, the Gen Z-focused publisher abandoning meta platforms. Back in March, Meta announced they would shut down the News tab on Facebook, ending all deals it had to pay Australian publishers for their premium content. Ad News interviews Centennial World, an independent publisher with a focus on content creators and internet culture, who preemptively distanced themselves from Meta-owned platforms months before the announcement. A significant portion of their traffic comes from posting their content on TikTok and YouTube, as well as taking advantage of Australia's thriving podcast audience with their show, Infinite Scroll. And finally, exclusive Oracle will end all of its ad products by September 30th. This Monday, an email sent to Oracle customers announced the company will stop supporting its advertising products on September 30th, including Moat Analytics, Oracle Contextual Intelligence, and everything under the digital audience's umbrella. Oracle says they will continue fulfilling existing orders for the affected products through their end date, but stopped entering into any new agreements as of June 17th. Earlier in the company's history, an attempt was made by Oracle to introduce the Moat product into podcasting, but was not able to have their SDK installed on any of the major podcast apps. As for the rest of the news, Adweek covers how marketers can rethink their LGBTQIA data. Audion launches a voice cloning AI for advertising. Triton Digital Audio Marketplace Operations Director Simon Lee shares Malaysia's digital audio landscape. Marketing Week provides five interesting stats, including some from Sounds Profitable's Ad Nauseam study, and advertising executives at Can Lion discuss how to wean companies off of invasive digital practices. Be sure to check out the links to every article mentioned right in your podcast listening app or at soundsprofitable.com, where you can also subscribe to the newsletter version. The download is written and produced by myself, Newton Shadokati, and Brian Barletta. This episode is hosted on Spreaker. For Sounds Profitable, I'm Gavin Gaddis. Download us again tomorrow.